we're picking up from where we left off. We have a 100 millisecond timer here and we're toggling a LED and a debug IO uh, at 100 milliseconds. And we have followed the timer example with all the instructions here in the polled implementation. So let's change to the callbacks implementation. And here we can see that there's only really one thing that we need to do, which is enable a timer interrupt. Okay, so one last thing to point out about the, the timer, uh, basically for the timer example in the polled mode, uh, a key pattern here is the use of a tasks routine. And you can see that this is part of the timer interface here with the constant struct of MCC generated files timer timer X. And here our interface is assigned to specific functions. And here you can see the task routine. And this is basically the equivalent of an ISR. We are checking the flags, clearing them, and then calling the callback, which is going to be very similar to what we do in the, um, uh, the callback version or interrupt version of the timer example. So if we come back to our example and change from polled to callbacks, we can see that now we just need to enable interrupts. As soon as we do that and complete this, um, note that once we generate code now, the task routine is set to null. And we come into our timer example and this task's routine is gone. We can replace our main code. And now, as before, we replace this with our timer2. And um, yeah, so we build. Okay, and we can program. Now, there's sometimes a little bit of a delay as you're programming, but basically the behavior is the same, and so there's no change. Yeah, so that's the callbacks version of the timer example.